Hey, beautiful. Hey, handsome. It's been a while. It's, I always say that, right? Um, this is, I am Carly Myers. I am the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios, aka A-Pop Studios. And what I do is I help people just like you who are, you know, maybe have really lost their sense of joy or fulfillment in their work or in their life, find their joy again, find their purpose, whether that's in work, out work, um, out of work or beyond. And I just wanted to give you guys a self-care alert um, today and give you guys a tip on how to work through your shit without ever having to have a formal therapy session or, you know, all of these like formal ways of working through stuff. I want to give you guys a tool for really stepping into understanding your mind and being able to work with your mind in a way that is low pressure. Uh, I know a lot of times, you know, we might go to therapy um, or we might be talking with a friend and there's so much, you know, pressure on getting the words right. Um, just verbally, hey, Catherine, you know, verbally being able to say what it is that you're feeling inside. And I know for me, you know, going through what I went through, um, you know, with a childhood trauma and, you know, uh, a, a myriad of like different circumstances through life, finding the right words, believe it or not, as someone who's, you know, pretty talkative and outgoing, it was, I found it very difficult and I know I'm not the only one. So I want to give you guys a tip um, on how to kind of work through some things that maybe are causing you anxiety. Maybe you're feeling the anxiety and you don't even know what, you know, what the root is, what, why it's there and to help you kind of understand more of what's going on and how to move forward. So what I want to recommend, you know me, you know I love creativity, you know it's a key part of who I am, is to recommend that you grab a piece of paper, maybe your favorite pens or pencils, crayons, markers, whatever it is that you like to use, maybe even a paintbrush, and just draw out, you know, your narrative. Draw out what comes to mind. So if you're feeling, um, so for instance, if you are feeling really, really anxious about your relationship with your boss at work, then maybe you grab your, you get your notebook out, you get a sketchbook out, a piece of computer paper, whatever you have on hand, and you write, you draw out what it is that's going on. So maybe you draw your boss, and when you, you know, you stream of consciousness follow that. So you might draw your boss, and you might draw, draw, um, their hair, crazy hairdo, you might draw the, the way that they make you feel, maybe it's like a burst of star, you know, a, like an explosion feeling. Um, you just follow that line, that stream of consciousness, but you don't use words. And it doesn't have to be anything like crazy beautiful, it doesn't have to be, you know, the next Mona Lisa. It just has to be a nonverbal way. Think like emojis. Think like gifts. Think think like um, if you want to label things, like think memes. But um, take yourself through very quickly, just sketching out your narrative, where your mind takes you, and I guarantee you, you're going to be able to work through this stuff in a in a way that is so much quicker than trying to find the right words, and also you're going to get deeper to deeper places in your subconscious that you might not even realize um, are related. So maybe you're drawing your boss and then you draw their hairdo and then you draw the explosion and then you draw a box of tissues and you're like, well, why the hell did I just draw a box of tissues? Now you can use that symbolism, that subconscious connection to figure out maybe that, you know, that is what is going on. Your boss reminds you of, you know, the way they treat you reminds you of the way an ex treats you or, um, you know, whatever the, the connections are on a subconscious level, you can bring those to the surface via associations. Um, so, you know, really this is about, you know, for those of you who feel like you're feeling the anxiety, you feel like you've tried everything, you've tried, you know, talking it out with friends, having a couple drinks, um, you know, praying, you know, all of the different ways, maybe talking with a spouse, a family member, um, 
journaling. You've chalked, you've, you've really walked through all of the verbal and linguistic ways of working through your stuff. Um, maybe this is a really good way for you. It's just another tool for your tool belt for you to work through that, to find, you know, the neural pathways to understanding your anxiety and how to handle it, understanding where the fear is coming from, maybe um, what it is that you want to do next in your life. It could be that. Um, so just try it out. If you have a minute tonight, um, tomorrow, today, whatever you're watching this, if you're feeling that underlying sense of anxiety or uneasiness, um, maybe it's time to just grab a post-it even um, and just draw a few things out to see what comes up. I guarantee you it will be insightful um, regardless of what, you know, of what you draw and how long you spend. So, um, and if you're feeling like you're really, you're feeling unhappy at work, I know that, you know, this is a mind-blowing statistic um, that I just encountered. 70% of, of Americans hate their jobs or feel indifferent, like blah, a sense of like just complete null boringness with their job. And if you're feeling that, then it's really time to have a conversation with me so that you can really step into the person that you want to be, step into a person that's full of, you know, feeling fulfilled, feeling purposeful and feeling like you're really giving to the world. Um, really, um, really using your energy in a way that serves you in not only serves you but serves the world so if you're feeling like you're part of that 70 percent statistic you're you know one of those people that are feeling unfulfilled in your job and you feel like you've tried everything to um really get yourself into a headspace where you feel a sense of gratitude you feel like you love your work that you're making a difference and you just haven't gotten there let's talk so you can shoot me a a direct message here on Facebook or you can go to apopstudios.com and you can scroll the whole way to the bottom and grab a time on my calendar because I don't want you to be one of those 70 percent um, that's just too many people to you know feel unfulfilled I want you to feel exuberant I want you to feel at peace I want you to feel these beautiful states of mind in your daily life I mean we spend the majority of our lives um, at our day jobs at work so we want to feel happy and fulfilled there, and I can help you do that. Okay. I love you guys, and I hope that for those of you who haven't, uh, who have voted on the poll in this group, um, I hope that these videos and the things I'm sharing are helpful to your self-care regimen, your wallets. I know we were talking about that. Um, and if you haven't voted on the poll, make sure that you vote. It's the pin post at the top of this group. I want to know what it is that you want to work on in 2018. So that I can help you grow and um, just feel fulfilled and like you have a purpose in life. Okay, I love you guys.